Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Today, we're gonna to do something a little bit different. With the up and coming 501 attempt from Thor Bjornsson, I thought it'd be fun to look through the history of the strongman deadlift world record. Okay, so putting some research in for this, it was actually quite a shock to me to figure out that we had only done a actual standard nine inch deadlift in competition for the first time in 1996. Before that, there was a whole concoction of very, very dodgy looking lifts from Don Reinhardt winning the car deadlift at World's Strongest Man with a reported 1,065 kilo pull, which is quite laughable when we kind of think of what modern lifts are. But um, there, there were some funny lifts. So Tom McGee doing a, an uh, 18 inch deadlift, or they used to call it a silver dollar deadlift, where the weights were cheese and his deadlift stood at 535 kilos. So there was all sorts of weird pulls, um, and obviously the strongest man still had to win, but it wasn't until 1996 where we saw the first standard nine inch deadlift pulled from the floor. The first real deadlift for Max came at the 1996 World's Strongest Man final with an old favorite of mine, Herrick Badenhorst, taking the win and pulling 410 kilos to set the first proper deadlift world record. From here, it would be another 12 years to see anyone match this lift when a young Kevin Knee managed to pull 410 kilos with a standard bar and weights at the 2008 Viking Power Championships. The first real jump up from the 410 came in 2011, Giants Live in London, where myself and Brian Shaw took the record up to 430 kilos. It was a good day for me, beating my PB by 20 kilos and managing to stay with Brian was a huge achievement for me. Um, he pulled the 430 easier than I did, but neither of us could take it any higher. However, this record wouldn't last long for us as at World's Strongest Man 2011, Zadrina Saviskas took the deadlift record up to 440 kilos. This record would last two more years until Worlds in 2013, where Brian Shaw took the record up another two and a half kilos to 442 and a half kilos. The next time we see a deadlift world record would be 2014 with the powerlifting legend, Benedict Magnusson. He went over to the Arnold's Australia to compete in the Strongman show. And as part of the show, they had a deadlift for Max event. Uh, Benedict won the event pulling 445 kilos breaking the existing strongman world record. However, it's important to note, Benny was already the deadlift record holder in powerlifting, having pulled 460 kilos under powerlifting rules. So the strongman record wasn't even a PB for him at the time. After this, the deadlift was becoming more and more popular and we had the emergence of the deadlift world championships. This is where we really saw the beginning of the battle between Eddie Hall and Benedict Magnusson for the deadlift record. In 2014, the World Deadlift Championships was part of Europe's Strongest Man, giving guest athletes the chance to compete in the max deadlift event with separate prize money and trophies for that event. Eddie came within a whisker of breaking the world record at this event with a 461 pull, but forgetting the competition rules, he dropped the bar rather than controlling the weight down and was disallowed the rep. Benny went on to pull 461 kilos and officially had the biggest deadlift ever, including powerlifting and strongman rules. I remember this, this show extremely well as I pulled a very easy 435 kilos, uh, which was a personal best for me. I went on to attempt 446 and ended up tearing my lat. And unfortunately, my deadlift's never been the same since. Anyway, back to the records. Eddie went back over to the Arnold's Australia and took the record back in an iconic moment, lifting 462 kilos in front of a screaming Arnold Schwarzenegger. It's still one of the most iconic kind of moments in deadlifting history and was just awesome to witness. Between 2014 and 2016, world records were being broken with much more regularity than they had in previous years with the introduction of events such as the Deadlift World Championships 
Athletes were training specifically for the deadlift and taking the standard to a new level. 400 kilos became an opening weight in elite level competitions. In 2015, the deadlift went up another kilo, Eddie Hall breaking his existing record, moving up to 463 kilos at that year's deadlift world championships. This was a point where talk of 500 kilo deadlift began. Many people, myself included, unsure if it could be done. Europe's Strongest Man 2016 was a very special event. The competition had moved from Headingley Stadium to the first direct arena in Leeds, with over 10,000 screaming strongman fans, a far cry from the days of holding competitions in car parks. The World Deadlift Championships formed the first event with Jerry Pritchett and Benedict Magnusson both appearing as guest lifters. The competition opened with 400 kilos, and while the other athletes eventually dropped out, the last three, Jerry, Benny and Eddie, all went on to pull an incredible record-breaking 465 kilos. Whilst this alone was an incredible achievement, the buzz in the building was all about the 500 kilos, with Eddie being the first athlete to attempt the lift. You could feel the electricity in the air as Eddie strapped himself to the bar. As the weight went up, the crowd went absolutely wild. Unfortunately, this meant it was some time before the other two athletes were able to make their attempts. Benny was able to get the weight just off the floor before calling it a day, and Jerry unfortunately ended up tearing his hamstring attempting the 500 kilos. Eddie's 500 kilo record has stood for four years now, and for the first time, we're about to be treated to a televised attempt at a new 501 kilo deadlift. The 501 attempt was originally supposed to happen at the world's ultimate strongman competition in Bahrain, but it had to be canceled due to the COVID-19 pan pandemic. Instead, it will now happen in Iceland, where Hafthor Bjornsson will attempt to be the first man to pull more than 500 kilos. The lift will be judged by respected World Strongest Man referee and four times World Strongest Man, Magnus Fur Magnusson. It will be attempted using weighed calibrated plates and a standard deadlift bar and will be live streamed on ESPN as well as coresports.world. Regardless of whether or not it should be considered an official world record, this will be the first time anyone has ever lifted 501 on a standard deadlift bar if Thor is successful and I personally cannot wait to watch it. So guys make sure you tune in on May the 2nd Comment below and let me know if you think Thor is capable of getting the 501 lift. And please like, share and subscribe to the channel. And we'll see you guys soon.